freaking crow just flew down in front of the truck. If I had known I could have came down last or yesterday and parked on the street, I would have. Probably go across. I don't know how far we can go turn over the elevator shafts. There's one there and there's one up there and uh, just a whole bunch of columns that they're putting in right now. The uh, project on the website said that, well, they did 115 and 215 Wilcox, which I'm assuming is that apartment complex there on the left. I could have sworn that one up there had one le one level down below ground and ground level parking, and then then it was commercial, and then everything above that was. Uh, residential and why would you come down this way to turn when it's already just a one lane road I'm gonna get out and move that other pylon up there it's a little close for my for my liking Yeah, if I'd known I could came down here and parked, I'd probably been first in line. I could have probably just left one strap on. No problem. But climbing that ladder all that way up there, and some of these jib cranes, um, They expand. They go up with the uh, with the uh, building as the building increases in height. Where is the operator? Oh, there he is, right there. stuff until it was completely away. So where's he flying that off to at? Man, he, really? He had to go that high up? And it swings around. I got two jib cranes here. I just realized that. Is he going on top of that decking up there? Where's that frickin' crow again? What on earth is that guy doing? I don't think he knows how to drive. Taking it down, then. Where's it going at? Oh, way over there. 
went completely over on the other side of the deck. Another crow. <laughs> porta potties. <laughs> I think that's what's taking the time is where they're flying off every all the pieces to. that many axles. That thing's not that heavy. Trip just pulled out. show this morning. There you go, Joji. I heard him. I heard him coming through the intersection. I thought, hey, maybe, maybe. And yep. Still going. Does Castle Rock do like Phoenix does and just get out and test the intersections every so often? Do you guys do that, Joe G? Just get out, drive the truck, and turn, flip the sirens on at all the intersections to see if people stop, see if they're listening. I know I've said that before. When I used to live in Phoenix, I watched a fire truck do that. For three miles, he did that. Came up behind me, did not have his lights on, about a half, about half mile or so between the lights. All of a sudden, his lights come on. Oh, okay. So, I, of course, I pull over. He goes through the intersection. Okay. And I was able to go through the intersection. As soon as he got through the intersection, he turned his lights off. I thought, what the hell? So I followed him. About two or three blocks right before the next major intersection, flipped his lights back on. Went through the intersection. Guess what? I got to go through as well. Third one came up. Okay, as soon as he got through, like two blocks passed, flipped him off again. And then I knew what they were doing. So we get up to the third third major intersection light. He flips his lights on about three blocks before. You know, he goes through the intersection. 
and two blocks later he turns them off again and I get stopped by the light <laughs> so, ah they're out testing to see if people actually stop at the intersection for the for the uh, emergency crews I thought that was pretty neat where else did they do that I saw him do that one other time I was going through a town and they came up behind me I was in the truck lights came on I pulled over they went by me I saw him go through like two major lights and then all of a sudden I see him turn down this street I thought okay so as I'm going by the street I look down the street and about a block off the off the main highway I see the fire truck is backing up onto another side street without his lights on and then he comes back out to the major back out to the major road ah he was out testing traffic lights all the way through town like I don't know like five or six different traffic lights all the way through town he was testing to see if people were stopping around I don't know if he turned them on as, as, as he went back back through but yeah he uh, guess what that's that's what they just did because the fire trucks coming back this way that's all they did he did not have time to stop at an emergency and do any, any anything so he just went through to make sure all the lights and people were stopping and there he is right there yep that's all he did that intersection back there which basically comes off the interstate and the next two lights three lights he went up three lights and turned around turned them off came back either okay either it was a they didn't need him or that he was just testing the lights out testing people to see if they're gonna stop I bet my money on that so apparently all cities do that so we have taken three things off of this truck and it's been a half an hour already because they got to use the telehandler instead of fly them off let's see problem using the tel telehandler is that it's apparently not a very smooth operation over there on the ground I really don't see why they can't just fly them off I mean even if they flew them off one at a time it would still be quicker one person up here doing the straps underneath and one person on the other side setting them down as soon as they lift it up they take the take the blocks and put them on top so that way when he when they get flowed over to wherever they're dropping them off the guy over there could take the blocks and put them underneath and they drop it down he unhooks it pull the cable back up but no they got to use the telehandler to it's going to take forever and he's not even in there straight with this one So there's no room for the telehandler to work. He can't get straight. Approved. And I'm really surprised the Tommy guy is actually letting this fly like this. I got the telehandler forked through one of the holes in the webbing. Yeah. I mean, I get uh, technically it's on there. But the deal is, if you count the holes, there's one, two, three, four, five, six where the fork is at. One, two, three, four, five, six, which is not where the fork is at. The guy on the trailer was trying to stick it through one of the holes. Well, then it's not even. 
and then he moved it to the other hole. Well, that's not even either. He couldn't figure out that there was two, if you go by the holes, there's two center points for the holes. So basically you'd have to take the strap, lay it over the top. They could have used the tire crane with those smaller pieces and it would have worked out just fine if both of them would have understood that there were six and six on holes in the webbing. Well, don't do that and fall off the trailer, you idiot. So, looks like we got chains now, so they're going to hook in either end. Oh, wait, okay. Okay, so they're only going to use one end. I guess the other guy that's up there may not actually have a beard, but he has a uh, face mask on. Just use it. Use it. Why don't you go through the operator or the t with the tire crane? still not in I can tell from here that the, it's not it's straight up and down I don't like this they're gonna go they're gonna pick this thing up and it's gonna teeter because they didn't get it straight and maybe it will work out because they used I don't know well they'd have to use I don't know let's just, let's just see what happens I, I don't why are you doing that? What in the world is he doing? Why is he pounding that 4x4 in? 